it's going, you guys. All right. I'm on a date right now, but I, I, I've got to go to the bathroom, and I thought this is the perfect time right now to be discussing something that is so important, and that's having a clean bathroom. Clean and sexy, but the sexy will be for phase two. Right now, we're going to talk about phase one, so let's go to the bathroom. Alright, now you might notice really quick that it's dark in here. That's because it's on a dimmer. Everything should be on a dimmer, especially the bathroom. See? But I'll turn it up. Okay, so obviously you have company, alright? She's coming to use the restroom, or he, whatever, guy, girl, doesn't matter. I'm not here to judge you guys. So, uh, let's talk about the toilet here for a minute. <clears throat> now, one of the important things here is you want to make sure that uh, I keep a bucket of cleaning supplies, but if you don't have it, just spray it with um, you know any kind of cleaning product all around the front. And you guys, no girl or guy wants to go and use a toilet that's got pee running down the front, pubic hairs in it, or God forbid any streaks inside. Okay, so. Once we go and we clean the outside, we're going to want to go and clean the inside. So you're going to go and use your favorite kind of toilet bowl cleaner. And then over here off to the side, I've got my toilet, toilet bowl scrubber. This thing is the bomb. Simple human. God, they make great stuff. But anyway, um, 15 bucks at B cubed. Check it out. Okay. Look at that. It takes two seconds, guys. Okay. Give it a quick little tap. Boom out of sight, out of mind. Let's also talk about something else, but before we do. Ah, nice. Uh, let's talk about the toilet seat. Okay, now for me, I always change out the toilet seat of any place I move into. Okay, it'll cost around $25 at any hardware store. But you don't just get any kind of toilet seat. You get a soft closing toilet see why because as we may not know okay we don't shut it because we'll have to bend over and we're using our backs and we don't like that so with the soft closing one check it out one finger boom and walk away and believe it or not this will shut okay now you might notice my toilet could be a little fancy I've got a wash lid that's phase two we'll talk about that one later all right, so I want to make sure the toilet's clean and well stocked with toilet paper, okay? Two rolls, one out, the other one hidden, okay? And that's two at a minimum. Now, once we've worked on the toilet, we want to make sure we've got the sink cleaned, okay? Now, there's actually really no reason, because I, yeah, look at me, I just have a pedestal sink, so there's no reason to keep anything on the sink besides soap. Okay, but the crucial thing is to make sure that it's clean. So use whatever kind of bathroom cleaner you want and scrub it and make sure you get all the chrome too. You don't want any kind of toothpaste crap. Do I have anything on there? No, that's all right. So you want to make sure this is really clean, the bowl is clean, the whole thing is clean. Just scrub it. it takes one minute, wipe it out. Okay, so use a pump, guys. Okay, you don't want bar soap. All right, it gets, it gets hairy, dirty, and it gets soggy, unless you've got proper drainage on it. But we won't talk about that now. Let's just talk about the pump. Me personally, I like Mrs. Myers, and this is geranium flavor, and I love it. Makes your hands really soft, leaves a good scent, okay? And I think, God, I, I think I saw this at Osh. So you can pick it up there, all right? Check it out, trifecta effect, guys. Toilet, sink, mirror, trifecta, okay? So once I've done my sink, then I go off into my mirror, Windex the mirror. Okay, so far I'm about minute three of my cleaning, okay? Now, once I've done the mirror, my natural progression, boom, towels. Oh wait, before I get to towels, I wanted to talk about something else here for a second. You might wonder, where do I put my toothbrush, my toothpaste, all that other things? Well, 
I keep it in a medicine cabinet. And by the way, don't think that women don't look in your medicine cabinet because they do. So if you got any weird shit, you don't want them to know you use Rogaine or any penis enhancer type stuff, okay, hide it, hide it. Me, I keep everything in here. This here is for a lot of my stationary stuff. I just use a um, wooden crate that I got at the wine shop. I love looking at it. It's very romantic when I see it's from Spain and it just brings me back. And then here's my travel top kit. Boom. Everything in there. Now let's get back to the towels. This is a very, very basic setup what I have here. Okay? I've got your shower towel and then I've got your hand towel. Now you can go to, uh, once again, to Be Cubed. Get yourself uh, the hotel collection. Really soft. There's absolutely no reason why you can't have nice towels in your place. None of this stuff from college or things that you've been holding on to. If you don't think women don't notice clean, nice towels, you guys are wrong. All right? I notice them, and so does every other woman. Okay? Clean towels. You don't want them ratty. All right? And color. I go white. White's clean. I can always bleach them and it's very uniform. They go with all my bathrooms because I tend to move a lot. I like remodeling. All right, so we've talked about the, the towels here. All right, let's go into the shower. As you can see, I just pretty much have a basic white curtain here, uh, but it is clean. All right, what's behind? Boom. I've got a shower mat. Okay, I just throw this down, but I take my shower, and I put it back up when I'm done. Uh, as you see over here, I've got my... I don't like um, having a ton of different bottles. So what I do, I just went to the beauty supply store. I picked up three. I have a shampoo, a conditioner, and then a soap bottle of these. And then I've got like a loofah pad in there, and that's about it. Okay, so as you can see here, it's very clean. Now, shower curtains, okay? really really important guys how do you know it needs to be changed when you start seeing mold and mildew at the bottom of them once again be cubed 10 bucks no reason when you're there picking up q-tips and tea light candles you pick up a new shower curtain okay or shower liner I should say all right while I'm down here um, floor floor is really 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 important there's absolutely no reason, guys, that you can't sweep it up real quick. As your young lady is sitting on the toilet, she's looking down. Make sure she doesn't see any pubic hairs, any little lint, pieces of toilet paper, or anything. Oh, I like it. Camera woman, while you're down on your knees, let's talk about something else that's really, really crucial. All right? See, I'm not afraid to sit down on my bathroom floor. Number one, I've done it many times, vomiting. Number two, it's clean. Every trash can has a lid, okay? Nobody wants to see what's inside your trash can. Even when it's my own stuff, I don't want to see what's inside. So make sure this is always empty and you've got a lid. While I'm over here, talk about reading material. I just happen to have, I'm just back here, I've got a little box. Now I always edit my magazines that are in here. All porno magazines, out of sight, out of mind, guys. Okay, out. Um, I happen to have in here uh, Lux, which is kind of just like a high-end interior design mag. I happen to like it, it inspires me. And then I've got um, a book here called The Old Souls Guide by my favorite gal, Anamika. And uh, it's got a lot of um, kind of reflective type uh, self-help things or spiritual stuff. Um, I love it, and girls like reading it too. All right, so let's put that back. Let's get up. All right, now that we've talked about cleaning, let's talk about a little bit of beauty. What could you do? The simple things you could do is put some flowers uh, for me. I am so stoked to have a couple gardenia bushes outside my front. So every couple days, I'll go out and I'll replenish them. And I'll just throw about three gardenias in a bowl. They look good. They smell nice. And it brings the active energy of life in your bathroom. Okay? That's key. So once again, guys, 
Okay, you want to put some kind of flowers in there, something beautiful. Make sure it's clean. The trifecta, what's that? Toilet, sink, mirror. And then you have your shower, your floors, your towels. Okay? Guys, thanks so much. And I gotta go, man. I gotta get back to my day. So we'll talk later.